Well, AMD put a wrap on their show, and what did they reveal? Well, the RX 6700 XT, as well as a couple of other things that are really interesting. We'll get to the biggest one towards the end of the video. Now, the AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT is said to be the best 1440p performer in the current existing graphics card market and features the highest VRAM in its class of GPUs as well. The Radeon RX 6700 XT as such is the direct competitor for the GeForce RTX 3060 Ti but offers performance that even rivals the RTX 3070. AMD's Radeon RX 6700 XT is also the successor to its fastest first generation Navi graphics card which was the Radeon RX 5700 XT. Now in terms of specifications, the AMD Radeon RX 6700 XT packs the Navi 22 XT GPU that features 40 compute units which will equal to 2560 stream processors and those cores run at a clock speed of 2321 MHz for base, 2424 MHz for game clock and a 2581 MHz boost clock. The graphics chip also features 40 ray accelerators for ray tracing capabilities on the RDNA 2 base GPUs. The card will feature an 11 phase PCB design which will be powered by an 8 plus 6 pin connector configuration. And as for TDP, the card itself is rated at 230 watts which is close to what the GeForce RTX 3070 comes with. The graphics card will feature 12 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory along a 192 bit bus interface. Now AMD most likely will use 16 gigabits per second dies which would net a total bandwidth of 384 gigabytes per second. Now the GPU additionally packs 96 megabytes of infinity cache. The GPU is fully Gen 4 compliant as well and display outputs will include three DisplayPort 1.4 and a single HDMI 2.1 port. It's nice to see a return to normalcy on this one in the dropping of the Type-C that, well, not many people seem to use. If you did, let us know down in the comments section. Now, in addition to the Radeon RX 6700 XT unveil, AMD also announced that it's bringing smart access memory AMD's version of resizable bar technology to its Ryzen 3000 series desktop CPUs based on Zen 2 cores. Now this is great news for a large majority of PC users who are running Matisse based CPUs and that extra boost in performance thanks to this bar support is much welcomed by the gaming community. If you want to take a look at the performance claims by AMD head over to the link in the description below and for more on this and other news follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.